Hello everyone, this video is about basic and derived quantities and also SI, system of international units. Previously I told you what the quantity is, quantity like volume, like mass, like current intensity and everything. I measure a quantity and express it in numbers. For example, suppose that I have a rectangular cube and it has different sides. And I'm gonna find the lengths of the size, the, the sides, and also uh, the volume. First, I start measuring the lengths of the horizontal side by using a, an apparatus like the ruler. This simple apparatus can measure the lengths for me, and the report could be like this: a equals five centimeters. A is a notation for the lengths. Five is the size of this quantity, and centimeter, the unit for that quantity. A expresses a length, so it's a basic quantity. Why we name it as basic or fundamental quantity? Because for understanding the length, for defining the length, I do not need to know what the volume is, what the density is, what the frequency is, independent of any other quantity I can understand the length. So basic or fundamental quantity is a quantity which is defined independent of the other quantities any unit expresses which expresses the basic quantity is a basic unit for example centimeter meter millimeter everything okay suppose that i keep measuring the other sides and i find b to be four centimeters and c to be six centimeters and it's the time to find the volume volume is the multiplication or the product of the three a, B, C, the three other lengths, the three quantities. So V is named a derived quantity. Why? Because I have derived it by uh, an equation uh, based on basic quantities. The multiplication of the three basic quantities like A, B, and C uh, could be a derived quantity like the volume. So volume is expressed in terms of different basic quantities for understanding the volume or defining the volume i must know what the length is but for understanding the length i do not need to know what the volume is this is the reason that a b or c are named basic quantities but volume derived quantity uh, and you know the relationship between the quantities here is named equation i i must have a, an equation to define uh, the relationship between the quantities, derived and basic ones. Suppose that uh, the value for the volume, of course, based on this, these measurements, is 120 cubic centimeters. You know, volume is a derived quantity, so the unit of the volume is named derived unit, because it's a unit for that derived quantity. Let's go ahead. You may have this big question, how many fundamental quantities do we have? Okay, it's a good question. Based on the agreement of scientists, uh, we have uh, seven um, fundamental quantities. Mass, length, time, current intensity, amount of matter, temperature, and luminous intensity. You may ask, why other quantities are called, are called derived? Okay. Easily, I told you, because we can decompose them into basic ones. Any other quantity you may introduce here could be broken into basic ones. For example, the area. Area of a rectangle is A times B. So by multiplying A and B, I will find area. So area is not basic, it's derived one. And moreover, the volume, as I told you, or even... The density has a ratio of mass over volume. Mass is a basic quantity. Volume could be expressed in basic quantities. So this relation, density equals mass over volume, expresses a relationship or, or an equation uh, connecting density as a derived quantity to basic quantities. Okay, by analogy, I can have a corresponding um, maybe a conceptual structure for 
um, derived and basic quantities. For example, suppose that I have uh, some small bricks or small logos and I've made a home. For finding or making that home, I necessarily need a plan, need a map. So basic quantities are like those small bricks and the home is a derived quantity for me and the map is the equation re relating basic and derived quantities. Suppose that mass is a basic quantity, a fundamental one. Volume is a derived quantity and density also is a derived quantity. How can I uh, relate the uh, three quantities together easily by a definition or a, an equation like rho as the notation for density and ratio of is a ratio of mass over volume? That's it. Easily by uh, any accepted equation, I can relate different quantities together. Okay. What is SI? Uh, the worldwide uh, standard for units is known as SI. This system has been developed from the metric system of units and means that when values of scientific quantities are communicated between people, there should be never uh, any confusion. Uh, let me describe it for you. For example, suppose that I uh, measure the lengths and I have the report of L equals 5 meters. It's understandable in any other country in the world because we have an agreement on meter. So I must have a, a worldwide um, definition or worldwide accepted unit for the lengths uh, to have an understandable report everywhere. SI will include 7 plus 2 units. I will tell you why 7 plus 2. I told you about fundamental uh, quantities, mass, length, time, current intensity, amount of matter, temperature, and luminous intensity. For the mass, we have SI unit based on the word by agreement to be kilogram. The unit of mass is kilogram in SI. The unit of length is meter or time is second, current intensity in ampere, amount of matter mole, temperature in Kelvin, and Luminous intensity in candela or candle. That's it. I can add two more supplementary uh, units, which are from mathematics, radian for uh, normal angle and also for solid angle, stradion. That's it. Pay attention. Length is a fundamental quantity. You know why. Because length is defined independent of all other quantities. All units of lengths are fundamental units like centimeter, kilometer, meter, millimeter, everything. But just one of them is SI unit. So pay attention, SI unit and fundamental unit are different. Density is a derived quantity. So any uh, uh, unit for that could be a derived unit like kilogram per cubic meter, gram per cubic centimeter, kilogram per liter, and so on. But just one of them is SI unit, kilogram per cubic meter, because uh, elements of this ratio, kilogram and cubic meter, are all from SI units. That's it. So SI unit is different from fundamental unit, is different from derived unit. Pay attention. This is very important. Hope. You completely uh, got the point what the uh, fundamental unit is, what a derived quantity is, what is the SI unit, and what's an equation. How can I relate all quantities together in physics? Thank you for watching this video.